This clip demonstrates how to create different actions. Select Root menu in the tree view, click right mouse button and activate Add Item. Select Menu Item 1, click right mouse button and activate Add Page. Select Page 1, click right mouse button and add a text control. Switch to the Common Properties tab and enter a text. Use a bigger font size and switch to the tab color to define a background color. Copy and paste the text control two times. Switch to the Common Properties tab and adapt the text for Text Control 3 and Text Control 2. Now move the text controls to the right position. Select Menu Item 1 in the tree view, click right mouse button and copy and paste it in order to get another menu item. Click the plus symbol to show all elements of the tree. Change the text for menu item 2 and delete one of the text controls. Now correct the text for action 4 and action 5. Switch to the General tab and correct the labels of Text Control 5 and Text Control 4. Go back to Menu Item 1, select Page 1, click right mouse button and define this page as Starting Page by selecting Set as Default. Now select Text Control number 1. Click right mouse button and activate Add Action. Switch to the Action tab and have a look at the defined action. Show menu, on selection, execute once, waiting 100 milliseconds after each time. Go back to the tree view, select text control number 2, click right mouse button and activate Add Action. Define another action, for example the sound buzzer. Go back to the tree view, select text control number 3, click right mouse button and activate add action. Define another action, for example show page. Now you have to drag and drop the target page onto the action object. Go to Menu Item 2, select Text Control number 4, click right mouse button and activate Add Action. Define a different action, for example, Back One Page. Select Text Control number 5, click right mouse button and activate Add Action. Define another different action, for example, Update data points. This action has to be connected to an input and an output data point in order to execute an update on activation. Click right mouse button and add the data points. For this example you can use a register, select the folder register and click the button new. Name the register Click the Create Register button to proceed, multi-select the input and the output data point and click OK to finish. Select the value read data point and set the value translation setting to custom. Define the custom translation as data point equals network variable plus one. Also set the data point value to the default value 1. 
To show the result of this update action, go back to page 1, click right mouse button and add a number control. Switch to the tab Common Properties, use a bigger font size and switch to the Color tab to define a background color. Position the number control on the display and add the value read data point to show the result. Select value read from the register and click OK to proceed. After all, download the project to your device using the download button and check the results of the defined action objects.